I'm going to start this fly with a size 18, 3X heavy, 2X long, nymph hook. And we're going to tie in some really fine black thread. Small hook, really fine thread. I'm going to take some of this sun yellow or fire yellow wire, and or you could use gold, and you're going to tie that in. Now we're going to tie in some pheasant tail for a tail. Just a couple strands. Like I said, small fly. Now you take that wire and you rib the fly. If you leave a little gap in the wire, that's cool. It works just as good. Almost everyone I ever tied and used and caught fish with had that, a gap. So. Now we're going to tie in some of this tinsel. We're going to use that as a thorax, like to wrap over the thorax, like a wing case. Now we take some of that floaty yarn or poly yarn and use that for legs. Just a very a couple. Don't add too many legs and too bulky. Now you're going to figure eight this like you're tying in spinner wings. And here's what they should look like when they're done. We'll take that, this purple dubbing, and we're going to dub it behind the legs and in front of the legs, behind the eye of the hook. Now you take that tinsel and tie it down right behind the eye of the hook, cut it off.
trim the legs. I trim them to about an eighth of an la inch length. All right, what it looks like when it's done. Hope you like this fly. This is my fourth take of this video. I tied rubber legs in. They were too big, and, and I added too much of the yarn. And So, if you could like this video, subscribe, and I will see you next Thursday on another Thursday, Thursday, Bugs and Booze. You guys all have a good day. I'll catch you later. And check out some of the other videos that are above me now. Keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip.